So, kids, caught anything? Not yet. What's your name, son? Well, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Dave Shutton. I'm an investigative reporter who's on the road a lot, and, uh... Wait a minute. One, two, three. Well, leave it to good old Mary Bailey to finally step in and do something about that hideous genetic mutation. Mary Bailey. Well, if I was governor, I'd sure find better things to do with my time. late for work, Homer. So? Someone will punch in for me. Try not to spill anything, Dad. Keep those mutants coming, Homer. Oh, mutants. Hi, right, hello, faceless employees. In a few moments, the government inspection team will be touring our plant. So look busy and keep your mouth shut. Gum used to seal crack in cooling tower. I'm as shocked as you are. Plutonium rod used as paperweight. Oh, now that shouldn't be. 20 years, I have never seen such a shoddy, deplorable... Oh, look. Some careless person has left thousands and thousands of dollars just lying here on my coffee table. I didn't know better. I think you were trying to bribe me. <laughs> Is there some confusion about this? Take it! Take it! Either bring this place up to code, or we'll shut it down. Good day. <sighs> Fix this place up. Mm, approximately $56 million, sir. $56 million! Don't hit me, sir. Once I built a railroad, made it run. Empty. Ah! Ah! Uh, just resting my eyes. Echo! 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 Hey, don't you remember? Buddy, can you spare a dime? <laughs> Is everything all right? <laughs> Working late, Simpson? Uh, uh, yes, sir. You and I are a dying breed, Simpson. I'm going to share something with you. Hop in. Can't the government just... Get off our backs. If you were governor, you could decide what's safe and what isn't. Where are we going, sir? To create a new and better world. If it... I'm for Monty Bird. Ooh, a political discussion at our table. I feel like a Kennedy. Well, frankly, I don't see how one of the most despicable men who ever lived has a chance against Mary Bailey. I, we've assembled the finest campaign team money can buy. This is your speech writer, mm -hmm. your joke writer, mm -hmm. your spin doctor, uh -huh. your makeup man, and your personal trainer. Oh. With this team of investigators, your muckraker, How do you your do? character assassin, nice to meet you. your mudslinger, ah. your garbologist. Hello. Their job is to turn Mary Bailey from this into this. Thank you for watching Movie for a Dreary Afternoon. Please stay tuned for a paid political announcement brought to you by the friends of Montgomery Burns. Burns, change the channel. You change it. No, you change it. Wonder if he's going to say anything about that horrible fish. Oh, Marge, what the big deal? I bet before the papers blew this out of proportion, you didn't even know how many eyes a fish had. Mm. Well, we've done all we can, Mr. Burns. The rest is up to you. Oh, don't worry. By the time this paid political announcement is done, every Johnny lunch pail in this whole stupid state will be eating out of my hand. Let's ask an actor portraying Charles Darwin what he thinks. Hello, Mr. Burns. Oh, hello, Charles. Uh, be a good fellow and tell our viewers about your theory of natural selection. Glad to, Mr. Burns. You're saying this fish might have an advantage over other fish. It may, in fact, be a kind of super fish. I wouldn't mind having a third eye, would you? <laughs> no. So, to summarize, say what you want about me. I can take the slings and arrows, but stop slandering poor, defenseless Blinky. Good night. Wow, Superfish! I wish the government would get off his back. That burns is just what this state needs. Young blood. Congratulations, Mr. Burns. The latest polls show you're up six points. Ah, giving me a total of... Six. But we're on our way. I say taxes are too high! to those bureaucrats down there in the state capitol! Latest polls indicate you're in danger of losing touch with the common man. Oh, dear. Heaven forfend. Which is why the night before the election, we want you to have dinner at the home of one of your workers. The only question is, can we find someone common enough? Uh. Mm. 
Oh, by the way, the night before the election, Mr. Burns is coming over for dinner. What? Uh, and some reporters and camera crews, but you don't need to feed them. Cool, man, a media circus. Absolutely not. Do you think you can memorize this by dinner time tomorrow? Mr. Burns, your campaign seems to have the momentum of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? Very good. Hmm. Don't worry. My daughter's very bright, and I'm sure she'll be able to memorize your question by dinner time tomorrow. And finally, Mr. Burns wants you to appear very affectionate to him, but... We must remind you, he hates being touched. What's that got to do with it? I don't want to snuggle with anybody who's not letting me express myself. But you do get to express yourself in the lovely home you keep and the food you serve. Cornball stunt is going to put us over the top. Bad neighbor dog. Here, let me help you up, Mr. Burns. We pay for all this stuff ourselves, so thanks for nothing. <gasps> um, <laughs> only an innocent child could get away with such blasphemy. Mr. Burns, your campaign seems to have the momentum of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? Ooh, a tough question, but a fair one. Lisa, there's no single answer. Oh, Mom, that felt awful. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. It will all be over soon. But, Mom, we've become the tools of evil. Lisa, you're learning many lessons tonight. <gasps> <gasps> oh. All right, three-eyed fish. Can I have your plate, Mr. Burns? Ruined before it hit the ground. Get me the city deck. Here's your headline, Phil. Burns can't swallow own story. The latest polls indicate Burns' popularity has plummeted to Earth like so much half-chewed fish. Smithers, tip over this table for me. Yes, sir. Mr. Burns, I hardly see what destroying our meager possessions is going to accomplish. <sighs> She's right. Take me home, Smithers. We'll destroy something tasteful. Simpson, I shall make it the focus of my remaining years that your dreams will go unfulfilled. Uh-oh. You're busted, Dad. Occasional snuggling and sleeping till noon on weekends. No one man can destroy them. Hey, you did it! Mm -hmm. <laughs>